Today we're going to continue talking about uh, logarithms. We're going to uh, especially talk about how to uh, evaluate a logarithm. It says without a calculator, uh, but we're also going to cover um, uh, with a calculator as well. Okay, so we'll cover both those things. So have your calculator uh, ready. Uh, when we are doing, uh, when you do trig functions and like sine, cosine, and tangent, you always have to have your calculator in degrees. You don't have to worry about that with logarithms. Logarithm just operates on numbers. Um, well, I don't. That'll be overwhelming at first. Let's just review a little bit uh, what a logarithm means. Uh, so if I have log the base uh, 2 of 8 equals 3, I can convert that into an exponential. Remember, this is the base of your logarithm, so that's the base of your exponential. Remember, the answer to a logarithm is always the exponent. Logarithms tell us exponent, so this is 2 cubed, and then it equals the argument of the logarithm, so 8. And that's a true statement, so that's what we practiced, hopefully, on Friday where you go from log form into uh, exponential form. Uh, but then we also looked at going in reverse. Uh, so we should be able to do that at this point. So let's look at how we can just evaluate a logarithm, or review some of the facts first, rather, about logarithms. Um, Logarithms, remember, are all inverses of exponential functions. They undo it. Now, when we first learned about exponential functions, y equals b to the x, some of the conditions we set on it were that b has to be uh, greater than 0, so your base had to be positive, um, and your base could never equal 1. So if uh, f is a law or is a exponential, it's inverse, that should be a small negative 1 there, um, the inverse of f uh, should will be a logarithm, and it's going to be a logarithm base b. That means the base of our logarithm has to follow the same rules as the base of our exponential. So b is going to be always bigger than 0, just a nice positive number. Uh, and b, your base of your logarithm, can never equal 1. Same thing that we had for exponential functions. Uh, another key, couple of key points here. One is if your uh, base, the b value, is 10, so we have log base 10 of some number. If it's a base 10, it's called the common logarithm. And when it's the common logarithm, we don't even have to put the 10 there. Everybody just now knows that log of any number, we're talking log base 10. If it's not base 10, they have to give the base that it is. So log base 10 and just log are the exact same thing. We just don't show that 10. Now if the base is e, the natural number, then it's called the natural logarithm. And it has abbreviation as well. A natural logarithm is just written, written ln. And so log base e of x and ln of x both mean the same. The natural log of x, it's base e. Uh, and so we have these buttons on our calculators, and I'll show you those in a little bit. But it's important to remember that base e is abbreviated ln. So first, we're going to evaluate by hand. When we do that, that means no calculators. You're going to rewrite uh, your logarithmic function to its e exponential form equivalent. That's what we were practicing. Uh, then you're going to use exponents in any math you can do to get a common base on both sides of the equation. Um, so for example here, if I had something like 2 to the x equals 8, what I'd want to do is take that 8 and rewrite it as a 2 to some exponent. In this case, it would be 3. And once I've done that, then I can do step 3, which is equate the exponents. That just means set the exponents equal to each other. Now, this step shouldn't be a, a big surprise to us because if 2 to the x equals 2 to the 3, then this x must be equal to 3. Now, that's not always the case where you can just see it, and sometimes you have to do a step 4, which is solve the equation. For example, what if uh, instead of uh, uh, x up there, I had x minus 1 equals 2 cubed? Then in my step 3, I would still equate exponents, 
but then I'd have to do the step four and I'd have to actually add one to both sides to figure out what X is. So sometimes you don't have to do step four, uh, but just realize if at the end of, if after you equate your exponents, if it doesn't say X equals, and then you got your answer, then you're gonna have to do a little bit of math work to get the X isolated. Let's see, I think I jumped there. So hopefully you can see this now. Uh, I'm just walking through each step. So here's the original problem up here log base 4 is 64, and we're supposed to evaluate it. So the first thing we do is we're going to write it in our exponential form. So that's shown right here. Uh, again, remember, that's my base. So that's the base of my exponential form. And where did this x come from? Well, the x, remember, is basically like our answer to the logarithm, the argument of the logarithm. Um, and so, uh, not the argument, the answer to the logarithm. So this is the x here. That's what we're trying to find out, the exponent. Okay, and it equals the argument 64. So once I've done this, I've changed it into exponential form. Then I said, oh, I'd like to know uh, 64. I want that to be a 4. Now, if you know right away that uh, 4 to the third power is 64, great. But if you don't, then you can start factoring it. And that's what I've done over here on the right-hand side. So I didn't know how 64 uh, could be written as 4. So I started factoring it. It's 2 times 32. I brought down the 2. 32 factored is 4 times 8. And I wanted to keep that 4 because I'm trying to get a base of 4 so I can uh, equate the exponents. So I'm keeping that 4. I factored the 8 to a 2 times 4. And then I notice, well, I've got two fours already, and this two times this two is also a four. So it factors as four times four times four, or four cubed. Now I can equate my exponents, x is three, and that's just my answer at that point. So I just found out what that logarithm is equal to. Another one that I walked through here. Um, so here's the original logarithmic function, and we're trying to find out what it equals. So my base is 5. The exponent is the x, remember? So it's 5 to the x power equals what? Well, it equals the 0.2. And so that's what we've written here. Now, 0.2, if you read it formally, it's 2 tenths. So I could write it as a fraction right away. And the reason I wanted to get it into fraction form is because I need to have Well, 0.2, I can't think of it in terms of a 5. But once I write it as 2 over 5, its decimal value, I reduce that, and that's one-fifth. And one-fifth can be written as a five if I write it as five to the negative one power. Remember, negative exponents mean give me the reciprocal. So five to the negative one is one over five. But see, now my bases are both fives, therefore I can equate my exponents, x equals negative one, and I'm done. That's our final answer, just x is negative 1. So the log base 5 of 0.2, we would write log base 5 of 0 0.2 equals negative 1. And you could test this on your calculator. You could quickly jump to exponential form, just type in 5 to the negative 1, and it better give you that 0.2, and your calculator will give you 0.2. All right, so let's do one now from the beginning without any help. So identify, you're trying to figure out what this logarithm is equal to. Call that x. Find your base, 1 fifth. We just go 1 fifth to the, let's see, x. That's what I'm trying to find out, equals 1 25. This time I'm going to get a little bit clever with it, OK? Um, I don't like dealing with fractions. So I'm going to write that 1 fifth. We just had a problem like that to the negative 1 power. And so my left side becomes 5 to the power to a power. So we multiply negative 1x. On the right hand side, I'm going to mess with that one a little bit. I know 125 is divisible by 5 times 25. So it's 5 times 5 times 5, or 5 cubed. And see, now both the left and the right side have bases of 5, so I can equate my exponents. Equate the exponents just means set them equal to each other. And now I have to do step 4. This says negative, negative x is 3. I just want x. 
So I'm going to divide by negative 1. X is negative 3. So the log base, 1 fifth of 125 is negative 3. So 1 fifth to the negative 3, my base to my exponent, so there's my base to my exponent, should be equal to uh, 125. And if you type it into your calculator, it'll give you a 125, or the negative sign means give me reciprocal, so it's 5. Now I can get rid of the negative sign because I flipped it over, and 5 cubed is 125, so it checks. Now without the directions. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what this logarithm is equal to. So grab the base, three, six, or 36, is equal, or 36 to the x power is equal to 6. And I'm going to work on the left side, and I'm going to call that 6 to the second power equals 6. The power rule, or the power to a power, says multiply, so that's 2x equals 6. And now i got to equate exponents because my bases are both 6. So what's the exponent on the right-hand side? Well, that's just a 1. So now I can equate exponents. 2x equals 1. And then my last step, get that x alone. That's step 4. Solve for x. 1 half. So what this uh, logarithm is equal to, let's write it out. Log base 36 of 6 is 1 half, which means 36 to the half power has to give you 6. So let's check that left side. Half means to square root 36, and the square root of 36 is 6. So it checks very nicely. Uh, last one like this. Let's grab our base 2. We're looking for the exponent x, and it has to equal 32. Let's start with that big number, that 32. Uh, and maybe you know how 32 factors, maybe you don't. So I'm going to just show the factorization, 2 times 8. I'm trying to get a base of 2, so I'm loving all these 2s showing up. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's 2 to the 5th, and I equate my exponents. x is 5. So 2 to the 5th power is 32. I'm going to set another one. I forgot I added this one. I wanted you to see this because 27 to the x power has to equal 3. Um, on this left-hand side, what's that give us? That's a 3 cubed. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. So 3 to the power to a power. We multiply as to the first, and now we equate. Set the two exponents equal to each other. I want you to see the fraction answer. And this. So the exponent of one third on 27 must give you three. And think about it for a minute. Minute the uh, one third exponent means to cube root 27, and the cube root of 27 is three. All right. Uh, we don't need to do this. Well, I'll do it real quick. Sorry, I won't be in class today, so I want to make sure I cover quite a few examples here. So I've done 3 to what power gives me 1 over 81? Um, I'm going to rewrite that 81. 81 is 9 times 9. We know that. But each 9 can be broken up into another pair of 3s like so. And so it's 3 to the 4th power. And I could have written it as 9 squared at this point, but I don't want 9s. I want 3. So I wanted to get this broken down all the way to the 3s. Thank goodness it did, because not everyone would do that. Now that 1 over 3 to the 4th, I'm going to flip it upside down and put the 3 to the 4th on top. But then to show that I've done that, I put the negative exponent. That still means 1 over 3 to the 4th. But now both sides are a base 3. So now the exponents must be equal to each other. And I know what x is. So I'm going to erase my x up here. And we'll just fill that in. What does it equal? Well, it equals negative 4. Again, you could test it on your calculator. Take your base to the exponent you found and see if it gives you that 1 over 81.
3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. All right, let's talk about the calculators now. Our calculators we can sometimes use with all of these, okay? The problem we run into is like if you tried to use a calculator with one like this, um, it's going to give you the decimal value for uh, 0.3 repeating. Also, our calculator does not have a base 27, so you have to learn a whole new formula to use your calculator. Uh, but we don't have to worry about that today because the only logarithms we're going to do, uh, there's going to be two types, and both of these are on your calculators. The first type is the common logarithm. I mentioned it earlier. It's the base 10 logarithm. Okay, so if you're base 10, it's called the common logarithm. Um, and it usually, in fact, this I find uh, is not normal. Usually your calculators don't say log base 10. This one's from the, my computer, uh, the one uh, that I use on that. This log base 10 is from my phone, uh, an iPhone. And this log, which is more typical for it to just say log rather than log base 10, uh, this is uh, Google's calculator. So if we look at these problems here, even though it doesn't say it's base 10, it is. And so we're trying to figure out what that equals. And we could do this with just, you know, what we've been doing. My base now is 10, remember? So I go 10 to the x power gives me 10. And now I can equate exponents. So I can see x is 1. But we're going to pull out the calculator also and do these. Because if you are base 10, our calculators are built for that, at least in terms of logarithms. Let me shrink this down a little bit. Um, so I have to go to my, I think my third, no, nope, second screen there. Uh, you'll notice at the very top of the calculator screen right now, I got the zero up there. I got my memory button that pulls up my memory. And I'm going to touch it in gray. That's log of base 2. That's unusual to have on a calculator. And this is log base 10. And yours may just say L-O-G without the 10. And so uh, I just did the math over here and found out this was equal to uh, 1. Uh, but our calculator will do that. I type in. I don't have to type in the base. All I type in is I want the common log of 10. And so then I hit the log base 10 button, and it tells me it's 1. Uh, the second one, I got a log of 100, so I'm going to type in 100. I'll hit my log base 10 button, and it tells me it's 2. Now, that should not be a surprise. We actually looked at the base 10s uh, when I first introduced logarithms, but this is saying, uh, this says 10 to what power gives me 100? Well, clearly the answer is 2. This next problem, log base 10 is 6, I love that because you can do it on your calculator. Let me show you how here. I'm going to type in 10. I'm going to, oops, I'm going to, yeah, I'll raise it to the 6th power this way. 6 equals uh, 10 to the 6 turns out to be a million, and maybe we already knew that, but maybe not. Then I hit my logarithm. It's going to give me 6. Now, this one should not be a surprise because this log base 10 says, 10 to what power gives me 10 to the 6? Well, clearly the answer is just 6. Let's try this next one. Log of 1 divided by 1,000. So on your calculator, go 1 divided by 1,000. But make sure you hit equals. Otherwise, it's just going to do the log of that 1,000. It won't do the division. Then you take the log of it. So I hit my log base 10, and it tells me it's negative 3. Again, this it shouldn't be a big surprise to us. If we did this by hand, it'd be 10 to what power equals 1 over 1,000. We saw one in the early examples. That 1,000 is 10 to the third. And I can take it to the numerator as long as I make the exponent negative. So x is negative 3. So those first four we could do by hand if we wanted to. But there's many more numbers that are that don't come out even like that. And our single example here is uh, log of 35. If I tried to uh, use the method where we just do it by hand, I'd end up with 10 to what power gives me 35. 
Well, 35 is what? Three times, uh, oh, it's not divisible by three, it's five times seven. Uh, I can't get it to a base 10. I can't then go through that process to find the exponent. So the only real way to do this is with a calculator or tables. That's what we used to have. So we just type in 35 and hit the log button, log base 10 button, but just the log button because that's what most calculators say. And we usually, uh, most of our directions will say take it to three decimal places. And that's it. So if you get one that you can't get to a base 10, how, are you know, how will you know you can't get it to a base 10? Try it on your calculator first, see if it comes out even. If it does, that means you could have done it. So uh, log base 12, you test on your calculator to see if it comes out to a nice uh, even number or to a decimal. If it comes out to decimal, you're done because you couldn't have done it by hand in the first place. So I hit 12, I do log base 10, and that's it. So I had to do uh, 1.079. So it's pretty straightforward. There's one that's a little fancy. Log of 0.8 plus 2. Well, first find the log of 0.8. I'll clear 0.8. I press my log button. And then I hit plus 2. There we go. 1.903. And we're done. Uh, last ones we had to look at are the natural logarithms. Um, our calculator, if you notice on my calculator screen, you see that log base 2. There I am pressing it kind of gray. Log base 10. And then there's this LN button down here. That LN button is the log base E, the natural logarithm. Log base E. So this is how it's notated on your calculators. Uh, the first one's my uh, computer. Second one is Google, how theirs looks. And this last one is uh, an iPhone calculator. Okay, uh, But either way, these all say the same thing, natural log LN. Okay, And so we have problems like this, natural log of E. So let's look at how we do that. Now, some of you have the uh, E button on your calculator. All I have are... No, I actually have one. I'm pretty sure on this cow. Let me look here real quick. I thought I just had an LN button. I'm not seeing it, but that's all right. Or just an E button is what I'm looking for. There it is. There's my E button right there. E, about 2.72. Great. So I can hit E, and then I can hit the natural log button. So that's the natural log of E. It's just one. Now, this should not be a surprise. And in fact, if you ever get a problem that is a natural log with E, E being the argument or some form of E being the argument, it can be done by hand. So let's look at how we would do uh, ln of E if we didn't have a calculator. And it's actually easier when they give you uh, to do it by hand like this. Remember, this is natural log, so its base is already E. So it's asking in this problem, we know the answer is X or 1 here, so I'm going to make it an X. So this problem is just asking e to what power gives me e. Well, x is has to be 1. And that's why the answer to this is just 1. There we go. The second one is asking e to what power gives you e squared. Well, that one's just 2. Now on your calculator, if you wanted to do that, I have this nice e to the power button right there I'm pressing. Okay, I'm going to clear that. I'm going to type in the 2 first, then I'll hit e to the x, and then I'll take the natural log of that, and you can see it gives me 2. The next one, if I wanted to do it on my calculator, let's clear all this, I go 1 divided by, I want to try to do this, I have to put the 5 first, then I hit the e to the x button, then I hit equals, then I hit my natural log, and you can see it gives me that negative 5. I knew this one was going to come out perfect because of that E. Remember the base is E. And uh, that just means E to the X equals. We use the reciprocal and put a negative sign there. And you can see X is negative 5. Example, you notice they don't have um, E in the problem. I mean, it's a natural base E or a logarithm base E, but 
but they don't have an argument that has an E in it. This is without a doubt a calculator problem. Okay, so we just go to our calculator, 0.75 natural log, and it equals negative 0.2877. And natural log of 15, there's no E in that 15, so we just type in 15, hit our natural log button, and it's about equal to 2.708. And you're done with those. Okay, so take it to, most of your problems are going to be just like this. Evaluate the logarithm, use a calculator if it's necessary. LN is 7. Oh, it didn't have an E in it. I'm just going to natural log it on my calculator. Type in the 7, hit natural log, you're done. It's equal to 1.94159. Ooh, three decimal places, so we'll go to 1.946. Now you could check this. So E, the base, to the exponent 1.946 should be, and it's going to be approximate here, because we rounded it, should be about 7. So let's try it on our calculator. Since I already have the answer there, 1.9459 and so on, I don't know why I put a 6 in, or a 7 there. Should be a 6. I was thinking of the 7 on the other side. Uh, anyway, I already have that exponent in there. I'm just going to hit my E to the X button. And it does tell me it's 7. It came out exact because uh, I didn't round my answer yet. And that's it. Okay, so uh, we have some like the first ones where you have to get the bases the same and then uh, equate your exponents and others where you just use your calculator.